important. All right, mine is a vibrating one. It actually helps get that blood flow. You don't really need a vibrating one. All right. So hope one is you want to get your quads, the front, the back, the thighs, the front, your back, the butt, everything you in your foam roll, you want to foam roll. All right. So me, I first like to start with my hamstrings are always the most sore. Start with one leg. Hamstrings on it. I like to put this leg on top and keep my balance with my hands to fully get an extension. One, I like to go ten times there and back to two. I like to put the pressure down. My heel, my thigh, or my hamstring are going straight to the ground right now. The more it hurts, the better it's going to feel. I'm going to go ten times. would be ideal right and I want to get my groin so a groin would turn your thing sideways get onto it sideways get the knee up and really get into it it's really important you guys put the pressure on the foam roller so it's like a massage a real good massage is gonna hurt so no pain no gain all right and now because my butt is already flowing through this leg I like to go to my calf I like to knock at that first leg, obviously 10 times, everything. Put the pressure on with the other leg if you want to add more pressure. Always 10 times. And I'll even get my shin. I might get my shin to get this sore. Again, 10 times everything. Do the same thing on the other side. Uh, my hamstring. Boom. 10 times. on it really put pressure really squeeze up 10 times again i'm doing it short for the video again i like to get my shins some people still get shin splints i've been shin splints for a long time but keep it that way and let's not forget the rest of our back all right i like to get my traps as well don't get your hair stuck in it not a good fit Sides, you can do your abs, anywhere you want. You can work your foam roll, even your arms. But that's just about the basics. 